Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install PyCharm IDE in your Windows operating system and how to run any code there. So before I start this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for never miss any update. So let's start our tutorial. So for install the PyCharm IDE and run any Python code here, first you need to install the Python in your Windows operating system. Otherwise, you can't run any Python code here. So don't worry about the Python installation. You just simply visit the link in the description below where I show you how to install Python with proper guideline. So once you install the Python in your Windows operating system, then you follow this tutorial. So for download this PyCharm IDE, you need to visit your favorite browser and search for PyCharm download and visit the first link which is appear here, which is from www.jetbings.com. Jetbings is a developer of PyCharm IDE. So that's why this website is JetBrings. Just visit the link. So once you click on it, it will show you this kind of web page where you can see at the time making this video, 21.3.2 is the latest version of PyCharm IDE. And in this Windows option, you can see two versions of PyCharm IDE, which is professional and uh, second one is community the community is a free version of pycharm ide you can also download the professional but if you want to use this professional you need to pay for it so we don't need to download here professional we just simply download here community so just simply choose here the community download option just click on it and here is our download page which is around 3.59.80 MB. Just download it. Our download is started. And as you can see, our download is complete. So once your download is complete, here is our exe file, which is look like this. And its size is 3059 MB. So for install this, you need to double click on it. And here is our installation window of PyCharm IDE. So here you need to just choose here the next option. And here is our location where our PyCharm is installed. And it's need space 1.2 GB to install. Just simply choose here next. So once you next it, it will show you the installation option. From here you need to choose here this option which is create a desktop shortcut and also you need to choose here the update context menu which is used to open any folder or project with pycharm ide and then we don't need here anything just simply choose here next so now it will show you to choose here your start menu folder i don't need to choose here anything i just choose here by default and simply click here the install option and as you can see it will start our installation and our installation is complete as you can see so if you want to run this pycharm id just choose here this option but i don't need to choose here this just choose here the finish option and open the pycharm just simply double click on this desktop icon so once you double click on it it will show you a user agreement just simply choose here this checkbox and choose here continue and then it will show you to data sharing so if you want you can send this but i don't want to send any data so i just choose here don't send and as you can see this is the interface of pycharm so here you need to just choose here the new project just click on it and here you can create your new project 
you can give here your project name and if you already install the python it will automatically choose the python directory and once you give here your project name just simply click here create and as you can see it will create a new project so before you run here any code you need to wait for the python sdk download which is download here as you can see so once our sdk is download complete now you can run any python code here so if you want to see the default code output which is right here just simply go to the run option just click on it here is the output of this default code which is hi pycham and if you want to run any code here just select all the text and clear it and now you can write here any python code i just simply to show you to print something i just print here my name and as you can see here is our print output and if you want to create here again a new project you just need to go to the file and choose here new project and you just give here your project name and just choose here create so that's how you can create here a new project so that's all guys how to install pycharm id and how to run any code there so i hopefully guys you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and share and if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon and i will see you guys in this next video inshallah thank you so much